Hello friends, this video on powers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, let's see that how these negative exponents can help us to represent smaller numbers. Now, before we do that, let's have a quick recap of expansion of large numbers. So, we have learned that the exponents decrease as we move towards the digits on the right hand side. So, let us take examples of some numbers. So, here we have 12,678. So, 8 is at the units place, 7 is at the tens place, 6 at the hundreds place, 2 at the thousands place and 1 at the ten thousands place. Right? So, this can be written as 1 into 10 to the power 4 plus 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus 6 into 10 to the power 2 plus 7 into 10 to the power 1 plus 8 into 10 to the power 0. So what do we see? As we move towards the digits on the right hand side, the value of the exponents gradually decrease. Similarly, if you take another example, so this is a yet bigger number. So in this case, how can you write this? So you see this is units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, then you have lakhs, ten lakhs and so on. So in this case, you can write it as 9 into 10 to the power 7 plus 2 into 10 to the power 6 plus 5 into 10 to the power 5 plus 3 into 10 to the power 4 plus you have all zeros after this. So here also you see the same thing. As you move towards right, the value of the exponent gradually decreases. Now let's see what happens with smaller numbers or with decimal numbers because when you talk about very small numbers or you talk about decimal numbers, there we make use of the negative exponents. So here also the concept remains the same. So let's take an example. So here you have 1025.63. So in this case, the digit the decimal part of the digit that is 0.63. So 63 is the fractional part or the decimal part and this is the whole number part. 1025 is the whole number part. So we will deal with the whole number part as usual like how, however we have dealt so far. So this would be 1 into 10 to the power 3 because 5 is at the units place, 2 is at the tens place, 0 is at the hundreds place and 1 is at the thousands place. So this would be 1 into 10 to the power 3 plus 0 into 10 to the power 2 plus 2 into 10 to the power 1 plus 5 into 10 to the power 0. So this is how we have dealt with the whole number part. Now what about the decimal part? So in the decimal part, now as we are further moving towards the right hand side, so the value of the exponent will further reduce. So this becomes 6 into 10 to the power minus 1. So after 0, you would have minus 1. Then you have 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So gradually as you keep moving on the right side, what happens is after the decimal point, the fractional part that you have, for that you make use of the decimal of, of the negative exponents. So this is where negative exponents are useful. Now if you want, you can verify that this value comes out to be the same. For example, this would be 1000 plus 100 plus 20 plus 5. So this will give you 1025. And what about this part? 6 into 10 to the power minus 1. So this is basically 6 into 1 by 10. And this is basically 3 into 1 by 10 into 10. That is 100. So this gives you 0.6 and this gives you 0 0.03. So when you add 1025 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.03, you get 1025.63. Right, so with that also we have proved that yes, this is how we should expand the decimal numbers. So let's try with another decimal number. It's 1256.249. So this is units, tens, hundreds and thousands. So this can be expanded as 1 into 10 to the power 3 plus 2 into 10 to the power 2 plus 5 into 10 to the power 1 plus 6 into 10 to the power 0 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 1 plus 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 plus 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. So the negative exponents represent the fractional part and the positive exponents represent the whole number part. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.